Hi everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new tutorial. And today I'm featuring some Art Impressions products. I'm going to be using the Llama Twist stamp set and also the Coordinating Twisters die. These are part of the Twisters collection from Art Impressions and are a really fun interactive card design. It allows you to flip your little critter back and forth inside the window of your card. Let's take a look at what I'm using today. I have the Twisters die along with the Coordinating Llama Twist stamp set, which also comes with the Coordinating dies. And I'm using the Dear Lizzie Here and Now paper collection. And I picked out a piece of paper to use as the background for my card. I'm going to stamp my llamas onto some Nina White cardstock with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink because I am going to Copic color my llama. I picked out colors using the paper as the guide for which colors I ended up using. I used a variety of pinks, reds, oranges, and a little bit of coral, and this adds a really fun and festive feel to this llama who is literally ready to party. As I'm coloring, you'll notice I continue that color trend throughout the entire design. So all of the little tassels and the party hat, they're all colored with the same colors. I really had fun coloring the sunglasses because this llama really definitely needed some bright pink glasses. And to keep the color palette neutral on the llama itself because there's so much color here, I just picked out two cool gray Copic markers to just add some slight shading to the areas of this llama because I want the llama to kind of basically be white. So the gray is just going to add some shadows. Now as you're coloring, make sure to reverse whatever colors you used on the front for the back side, because remember, this is the back side of the llama. So anything, let's say, on the left of the llama is now on the right when you're coloring the back side. So it's just a little bit of uh, trickery as you're coloring to make sure you remember to do that. There are coordinating dies with the llama twist stamp set, so I am going to use those to cut the llama out. You'll notice that when it cuts these out, there are little notches, and, and those are what will tuck into the window of our little twister frame. We're gonna need to adhere the front and back of the llama together to create that really great twist effect. So I used some tape runner to add a little bit on each of the pieces and I'll sandwich those together. This creates a really nice sturdy embellishment and this is gonna flip beautifully. I'm gonna take the twist frame die and also a Simon Says Stamp basic rectangle die to create the sized panel that I want for my A2 card. So I'm going to line these up over top of my pattern paper exactly where I want them. Then I'm going to tape them together with purple tape. I'm going to tape them together because I am going to cut this exact shape, the rectangle and the frame, twice. Once from the pattern paper, which I'm doing right now, and then I'm also going to die cut it from white cardstock. And that's because the pattern paper is slightly thinner. So I need something to make it just a little bit sturdier. So I'm going to take that entire piece without removing any of the tape and just lay it onto some white cardstock and run it through again. I'll glue those two together. And now we're ready to create the window into our center portion of the card. So I'm gonna take that panel that we just die cut and this time I'm taking just the frame itself and I'm going to nest that right into the negative area of the pattern paper. Then I'll put purple tape on just the die and the card base so that way the die stays in place. I can remove the pattern paper panel and now my window is going to cut in exactly the position that I need it to on my card. So it's gonna cut right in the center and everything's going to line up perfectly. All those windows that we die cut will now be perfectly aligned. So I'll take my window panel here and I'll nest this right over top of the window we cut into our card base and voila, you can see, this is all lined up really, really easily. All right, so at this point we have our window cut and we can nest our little llama into the center. Now, no matter which twist set you end up using, the directions for creating this card are exactly the same. You're basically just coloring a different image. So my llama is ready to have some decoration added to this card. So I thought I would add a little bit of color to the inside. The inside of the card, I decided to ink blend with Wild Honey. I thought this color looked really nice with the colors in the pattern paper. And this is going to just create a little bit of interest and some depth behind our llama. It's not gonna be a white background. So I'll just use a blending brush to blend out that color. 
And I did mask off the left hand side of the card so I didn't get any ink on the left hand side. So now I'll remove the masks to reveal that nice crisp edge. And we have the great colorful background here behind our llama, really contrasting against those other colors in the pattern paper. Now this llama is having such a great party feel coming out of her that I think she just needed some more sequins. So I pulled out the rainbow party mix from Simon's stamp and I glued those not only to the front of the card, but also I tucked a few on the inside. So when you're looking at the card closed, you can actually see these peeking out from behind the window and the llama. And of course they add some nice embellishment on the inside too. For a sentiment, you could have used the sentiment in the stamp set, but I decided to pull out one of the Simon Says Stamp All Things Happy sentiment strip set. And I love this greeting, smile it's a good day to be happy, because if you're looking at this llama, I don't know how you couldn't be happy. <laughs> so finally we're going to embellish the llama with just a little bit of sparkle on the sunglasses using a aqua shimmer brush and some glossy accents over top of that to give some dimension and shine to these sunglasses. That's going to finish up the embellishment on this card. You can see now as I open up the card how fun this is with the llama hanging there suspended in the frame. You can flip it back and forth and I think it's just so cute and such a fun way to add some interest to a handmade card. I hope that you enjoyed today's video featuring this Art Impressions Llama Twist stamp set. I hope you'll stop by the blog to get more information on the card, including still pictures and products used, which are also linked down in the video description below. Please subscribe to our channel for additional weekly inspiration, and thanks again for stopping by and spending time with me today. I'll be back again very soon with more to share, but until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye!